Okay, hello everyone and welcome. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you a couple quick tricks with the Synthesis Technology E440 filter, also known as the best filter ever, at least according to its designer, Paul Schreiber. Now you may have been looking at this filter and been disappointed by the lack of bandpass outputs. We only have low pass outputs on here. Perhaps you have a small system without enough utilities to generate something like that on your own. Well, there is a quick trick here that only requires a mixer. So Paul has cleverly phase shifted each of the outputs by 45 degrees, which means if we mix any two of the outputs at unity, um, we should achieve a bandpass filter. So I'm just gonna show you quickly some audio. Here we have the mangrove running into the E440. Just monitoring the two pull out. Classic low pass sound. Now what we're going to do is we're going to patch the three pole out into links here. And it's going to sum them at the same amplitude. So pay attention to the low frequency content here as I patch this in. Do you hear a drop out? So clearly we have a bandpass at work now. And we can actually achieve a different slope result if we use a different output. So instead of the two pole, let's try patching out of the four pole. Let me just adjust my system quickly. Kind of a more mellow sound. And we can also achieve in between slopes by not mixing them at the same amplitude. So if we take these outputs and we run them into the system interface here, Here we have the four pole out. Let's mix the three pole out in here. If we match them, we can get something like a band pass. But any change in amplitude will just result in an in-between slope. Now there is one final trick I want to show you. And that is if you self-oscillate the filter and tune it down to the sub-audio range and use it as something of an LFO, because the outputs are phase shifted, it can act like something of a quadrature LFO. So I'll just take an output of morphogen here. I'm going to patch one of the outputs into the sound on sound input we'll just do basic amplitude modulation. I'm going to take another output now, and we'll patch it into the right input, which because of my firmware settings will result in phase modulation. Now it's kind of hard to hear, but they should be related rhythmically, the two uh, modulation signals. We can also patch into the various speed control, All right, and that's it. Thank you very much. And be sure to like and subscribe to hear more, and I'll see you next time.